Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something astronomical, we're doing something never seen before, we're doing something life changing. We're actually not, we're just going back to our roots. We're just keeping it real and doing what I know best, bakery taste test. This bakery has been sent to me from you guys so many times, it would actually be a crime for me to not do a video on it. And I was just going to do a little TikTok and I thought, no. This deserves to be a video. This is apparently the best bakery in London. Like it has been put on the map and everyone is arguing with it. It's called Toad Bakery. And actually I believe they had to change their name for one reason or another, kind of like Little Mix back in the day. Didn't they used to be called Rhythmix or something? That's a throwback for the old noggin. It's called Toad Bakery. It has so many different things. It has really good reviews on Google. Actually, I just wanted to see what the rev reviews recommend, 4.8 stars. That is really quite high. The only thing is an hour and a half away from me. It's a bit of a trek, but we're gonna give it our best shot. I'm looking at all the things that they have. Oh, they have a mix of sweet and savory. I'm just a bit worried that I'm gonna go and there's gonna be nothing there. They've got cheesy puff, morning bun, double ch choc cookies. Oh, I'm so excited. I've literally wanted to go for so long, but we've been like, oh, it's an hour and a half away. It's worth it. Well, I hope it's worth it. Let's see if it's worth it. Let's get on our merry way. It's one of the hottest days in England that we've had all summer. So this might be a bad idea being on public transport for it, but it's worth it for the Toad Bakery. said I came at a really good time and normally there's a massive queue but I think because it's so hot no one's eating baked goods which is perfect for me because that means I've literally been able to try everything he said the only thing that was sold out was Jaffa cake so I'm really happy four hours later she has returned with the goods oh my goodness I'm so excited like I can't put into words I can't put into words how buzzed I am I'm very hot Shout out Ryan, he was so lovely, the guy who served me. Nicest vibe in there, it didn't feel, sometimes you go into these bakeries where they're like really cool and it's like a bit intimidating. Whereas it actually just felt really friendly, really nice environment. He said he'd worked there for a year and so many treats and delights we have to try. So I'm gonna get them all out on a board. I'm gonna cut a little slither of each of them because my family will be so disappointed if I don't save them some. So I'm gonna just try a slither of each and every one and tell you my thoughts. I'm hoping that it's not gonna be one of these things where I think it's gonna be good and then really and truly, it's not. I didn't even get one of everything. They literally have so many good looking things and I had to hold back, I really did, self-restraint. Up first we have the, this is the one that I'm least excited about but I had to get it for my dad to try because he loves cherries. I actually can't remember what all of these things are but this is a little cherry bun. Mm. Mm. That's really yummy. I want to take another bite. That custard in there is really gorgeous. I feel like I've just even aesthetically like I love the look of it and it's a little tittle, just a tittle bit dry on the outside. That's if I'm being really crucial, but it's actually really nice and soft. Oh gosh, if this is anything to go by, then we're in for a treat you guys. Sit back, relax and let's enjoy things together. Now this is actually a recommendation. <gasps> it's falling apart from our dear friend Ryan. <laughs> Poor Ryan, he was just there working away. Um, little did he know he'd become a star of this show. This was actually the cookie that he recommended because I originally picked the double chop because I'm a double chop chip cookie kind of gal. And he recommended this, I think it was like sesame and miso. Intriguing. Texturally, that is everything I want a cookie to be. Oh my goodness, it's chewy. It's like slightly caramelly. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I don't know how I feel about the sesame. It does add a real nice like depth of umami. I feel like if you just like a sweet treat, that's probably not for you. Whereas if you like something with a bit of depth, a bit of, you know, something a little more grown up and civilized. I feel like if you're, if you're an anchovy lover, if you like olives, that sort of type of person, 
You'd like that. I like it. Guys, I get what all the hype is about. I think this might be the most beautiful thing I've seen in my life. Are you joking me? It's absolutely stunning. Now the problem is, what do I always say about layers, okay? What do I say about layers on a pastry? Normally, if there's good layers, sometimes it means that, the, that instead of using butter, they've used margarine, because the vapor from the margarine means it puffs up more because there's more water, co moisture content in there. So I'm genius that the flavor is not gonna be 10 out of 10. We have to get, oh, I love the crispy crunch on top though. It's looking good, it is looking good. Oh, I'm so excited. That one's probably my least favorite so far. I think the bar was set really high and I think it didn't quite match the bar in my head. Quite nice and savory, it's not super sweet, which I feel like is what Toad Bakery does well. More about the flavors. I feel like I have had better pan chocolates in my time, although they did call it a chocolatine. So maybe I'm going for something that it's not trying to be. It's not trying to be a pan chocolate. It's trying to be different. It's not like other girls, you know what I mean? It's a different breed entirely. So maybe I should have gone in with that mindset. Gosh, I'm just having the best time. It's always fun. It's always fun. This reminds me of when I was a little kid and we woke up, did stockings. I went downstairs and I cried. The stocking was the best possible thing that I ever had in my life. And then I went downstairs, saw that there were more presents. I was like, more presents? And I cried because I was so overwhelmed. Oh, she's naughty. She is naughty. But I can't remember what was in the tea cake. Potentially some saffron by the colour. I'm just reading between the lines. I think there was some saffron in there. Okay, let's give this a whirl. There's also something else in there. Mm. That is unreal. Texturally soft. I thought it would be a bit dry. Not dry at all. Oh my goodness. It really is saffron -y. Like you're getting a punch of saffron. That is not scrimping or flavour. However, if you don't like saffron, don't get this. But if you're like eating a paella and you love getting those little wisps of saffron, this is gonna be for you. That is amazing. I wanna eat the whole thing. I wanna yum it. I'm not even that much of a saffron lover. Who knew? 2023, I'm a new lady. This is the best thing. I'm literally having the best day. Dark choc chunk sea salt cookie, which is absolutely a bit of me. Doesn't this look like one of those cookies that they run a blog post that says, best cookie you'll ever eat. It literally looks like the most perfect, round, like shape-wise, color, texture. It just looks like this is what a cookie is meant to be. If you were to look up in the dictionary, dark chocolate, I'm a little Pac-Man, dark chocolate chip cookie, this is it. Mm -hmm. That's yum. It kind of reminds me of, um, do you remember those vegan chocolate chip cookies that I used to make all of the time? It kind of tastes a bit like that, but that sea salt, really works to enhance. Oh, I can't stop. I just want another little, don't, no one has to know. No one has to know about that. I don't know if anyone remembers the first time that I walked into a Rome, the bakery. This was when it was back in its infantry and there was only one of them in London and I literally thought I'd hit a gold mine. It was amazing and I feel like I've just had that again. However, Rome's kind of, since they've expanded into different bakeries, it's not like it used to be. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen to Toad. Yeah, at the same time, I'm like, can we launch another one, please? Because I can't be trekking an hour and a half for a saffron bun. This one is for Papa Booth and Papa Booth only. They actually did have two different types of cinnamon buns. So they had a slightly bigger one and then they had this one. And I think they also have a morning bun. They've literally got something for every occasion. And obviously, Papa Booth is the cinnamon bun connoisseur. Every time I get a cinnamon bun from a bakery, he has to give it a go and lets us know how it is. So I've tried many. I've literally, I think I did a whole video where I was trying to find the perfect cinnamon bun, so. Oh, you know what? I think that's the morning bun. I don't think that's the cinnamon bun. I'm kind of tasting cardamom. That's so delicious. It's like got the sweet, sticky glazed outside, but sometimes these cinnamon buns can be really hard and stale. They go stale so quickly. This is, um, I feel like it looks like something. Do I look like a cartoon? Do these look like my eyes and this looks like my nose? I've kind of done this a little bit reversey percy because we have tried all the sweet bits and now we're gonna go on to savory. Hello, a moment's silence for this cheese puff. Can we? Thank you, respect the cheese puff because he deserves to be respected. Got like little crisp, this is everything I want. Now, I really like the Gale's cheese straw and I wanna see how this rises it. A whole flake just fell off, I kinda just wanna, crunchy. Not sure. The flavor, 
is sublime. Absolutely, you're getting those little crunches of mustard seed. You get the cheesiness, like it's definitely cheese flavoured. Can you, you can see the little laminations in it. But it's a little bit oily. I just feel like it wasn't what I was expecting. I thought it would be more like, I suppose in my head I thought it's going to be like a cheese straw, but it's a cheese puff. So maybe, again, when you make assumptions, we're only making an ass out of you and me. And I feel like that's just what happened there. I feel like that's bottom tier with the chocolatine. So what I'm picking up from that is that I don't love the laminated dough recipe. I feel like that leaves a little bit to be desired. I think this is like a cheese and jalapeno croissant or some description. So I'm going in very open-mindedly. It looks good because it's got lots of filling. That is one. This reminds me of something my mum used to cook. This is really reminding me of something. What is it? What is it? I can't put my finger on it. Amazing. What I like is it kind of has the texture of what I say a croissant should have. The crispy, crunchy outside, but then it's got that like chewy, kind of stodgy. I like when it's stodgy. I don't like croissants when they just are flaky and crispy. I like the middle to be a bit like squidgy and stodgy. And because of the cheese, it brings out that squidginess. It's got a real nice warmth of jalapeno spice in there. That is so good. So much better than that cheese puff. I cannot remember what this guy is. I think it's the cornbread croissant, which actually is what the rude is actually what ryan said his was his favorite so i feel like we have to give this a go he also unfortunately said that on weekends they have the biggest queue but on weekends they do weekend specials and i feel like i like to be part of a special community and i want to be there waiting for the special but i also hate queuing so not sure about that it, it looks like coronation chicken that is great. Oh my goodness. That is wonderful. Shout out Ryan. Tastes like curry in a croissant, which you would think that's not gonna work. Yeah, it does. Oh my goodness, I love this place. People were not lying when they reviewed it 4.8 stars. It totally deserves those 4.8 stars. I don't even know what this guy is. We're really, um, but it is the last thing and I feel very sad that we've come to the end. And I feel like I need to try all the other stuff on their menu now. I don't remember what this is. And it is delicious. I'm not even a dill lover, but the dill really works in there. That is crispy, crunchy, flavoursome. Well done, Toad Bakery. You have absolutely smashed it out of the park. That was delicious. I'm never going to stop thinking about it. And I wish you were just down the road. And you're very lucky if you live in Peckham, guys. Very lucky because you have this on your doorstep. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really did. I just love exploring and sharing my food adventures with you. So if there's anywhere you'd like me to try, please do let me know. I've had the best time. I love you all loads. Peace out.